Honourable Lieutenant, Lords, Lady, Ladies and Gentlemen, on behalf of Leeds OTC and YOTR, I would like to formally welcome you all uh, to the West Yorkshire Lord Lieutenant Certificate Evening here at Carlton Barracks. The Lord Lieutenant Certificate is an award in recognition of exceptional service uh, by the volunteer. It is intended to supplement honours bestowed by Her Majesty the Queen in the New Year's and Birthday Honours List, and in precedent, ranks after such awards. The certificate is in the form of an illuminated scroll signed by the Lord Lieutenant of the County. It is an award of high merit of which the recipient may be justifiably proud. The Lord Lieutenant, uh, Lord Lieutenant certificate may be awarded to any serving volunteer uh, of whatever rank for exceptional service over a period of time. To be eligible, an individual must be serving as a volunteer in the reserves as of the 1st of March in the year in which the uh, volunteer is recommended. The award is not intended as a routine recognition of long and faithful service. The criteria is for exceptional service and that is the principal factor for which the award is presented. W02 Colton. Paul Colton joined the Sea Cadets as a cadet in 1972 to 1988, bound at Newton, South Yorkshire District. Paul became an adult volunteer in 1992 and he has attended many courses to and has gained his rowing instructors, communications instructors and many waterborne qualifications, not least his RWA safety boat, and so he could pass all these skills to the cadets. In March 1998 he was advanced to Chief Petty Officer and twice the other unit for coming the officer in charge of Barnsley Sea Cadets. To open great opportunities for the young people of the area, he instigated the formation of a Royal Marine Cadets detachment, which continues to thrive today. After many years' service given to Barnsley Sea Cadets, he moved and therefore transferred to Wakefield Sea Cadets in 2001, taking on the role of divisional officer and became a general adult instructor where he's played a prominent role in the instruction of cadets, making it interesting and fun. In May 2011, he attended an advancement board and gained promotion to warrant officer second class, quickly taking the post as the district warrant officer for West Yorkshire. In this position, he works closely with the district team, helping all units to improve. Outside of the sea cadets, Paul went to Romania three years running as a volunteer to help them run down dilapidated local hospital and orphanages in Karay. W2 Paul Colton is committed to helping others and is strongly recommended to the award of a Lord Lieutenant Certificate. W2 Colton.
mercifully, this was a rare tragedy. But the spirit behind his work has been common to everybody who has come up for a certificate this evening. In the weekend before one of these ceremonies, I always read the citations very carefully at home, because you only get the gist of them when you actually come to the evening. And I'm always so absorbed to see the amount that the recipients have done, what they've given to the reserve forces, usually over a very long period, 26 years, I heard, 24 years, tremendously long times. And of course, I know about your deployments, Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, Oman, Afghanistan, Northern Ireland, and the fact that many of you are committed to daytime jobs and family life, as well as your TA work. It's an extraordinary thing to fit so much into a lifetime. The adjectives describing your qualities have all been read, but they're worth repeating because they moved me enormously, and I've no doubt lots of you as well. Phrases like loyal and dedicated service, total involvement, leadership qualities, moral courage, high performance under pressure, cheerfulness, flexibility, and like the late Keith, Keith Christmas, commitment to helping others, to passing your skills on to cadets and young people. The certificates just presented you to you are an attempt to thank you for shaping so positively the lives of very many people. I mentioned families a minute ago in the context of the full lives you gentlemen lead. And of course, family members are here today and they deserve all our thanks as well. It can't be easy to have a family member who's eternally giving up his weekends and his evenings to look after young cadets. It's quite a sacrifice, and the thanks are genuine enough. And it's lovely to see so many of you here this evening. Finally, I want to thank our hosts of the evening, Yorkshire Officers Training Unit, and particularly my own LUOTC. I've been honorary colonel for seven years, and I've absolutely loved it. And I knew that this presentation would be meticulous and splendid. And I can say from my heart that in the 10 years that I've been your deputy, I have never, never been to such an elegant or well-run reception as this evening has been. Finally, thanks to the members of the Yorkshire Band for making it moving and interesting and for the national anthem that I think 